people and welcome into my kitchen. Today I have great support by Pauline who will help me out in my kitchen to tell and show you our five top snacks for your work day or for school day. So these snacks will be very healthy, very tasty and easy to make. So these five snacks will sweeten up your day and ours. So keep on watching. A great way to have a great start at every kind of day is having a smoothie and therefore you're gonna need salad, a banana, a melon, an apple and some apple juice for the sweetness and of course something to put your juice or smoothie in it. You of course have to wash and cut everything to put it inside your blender and make sure you will blend it very well. So if you have too much stuff for your blender as we have here, um, of course take some juice and water to really mix it all up. And as you can see, you have to be patient and maybe give your blender one more minute to succeed in filling up your bottle. And don't forget to have a taste and oh Paulina she likes it yay something that keeps me very strong through the day are cereals and here's my Weetabix to go story for you you're going to need milk some fruits like the strawberries the Weetabix of course and like some Tupperware where you have one Tupper inside another Tupper and of course a bottle for your milk. Then I should pick two or three pieces of Weetabix, three is more than enough, wash my fruits and of course cut it very well. I put everything in the smaller Tupperware to be able to carry it along with me and this uh, like watering enables me to have fresh food all day long. As you can see, Pauline is doing her homework and she's very hungry right now. She decides to have a break and have her Weetabix. She fills it up with the milk and puts inside her fruits and mixes it all up to have a try. And I really hope she likes it because I always do. Mm, here we go. I think she does. She does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now after the little break and having her cereals, she feels very much more energized and is able to go on with her homework. I personally love drinking water but I get you, it's kind of boring having it every day so I'm going to show you my kind of iced tea which is very clean. Everything you're going to need is like fresh ginger, lemon, mint, honey and rooibos tea. Cut your ginger in a size by a thumb and always remember the more ginger and the smaller pieces of ginger you have the spicier your tea is going to be so you're going to need also like one liter of hot water you can put inside your ginger afterwards your four pieces of rooibos tea and then have like the fresh mint also inside your tea and you can save it all up for about 15 minutes In between I prepare the fresh lemon juice and after 15 minutes I'm going to take out the tea pieces. And put inside my fresh lemon but it, I don't want it to be too sour so I really need something to sweeten it all up and this is why I take two spoons of honey. And now you can have a try like a hot tea which is very tasty hot or you can leave it and let it cool down throughout the day or serve it with crushed ice and you will have a delicious iced tea. 
a tasty and stylish alternative to bread is wraps to me. So I will show you how I prepare my wraps. I need tortilla wraps, some salad, tomato paste, hummus and turkey ham. Next I will sprinkle some water on my wrap and put it on the stove for about 2 minutes. You can also do it in your microwave but don't leave the wrap on the stove for too long as I did in this particular case. Put on your wrap, your hummus, your tomato paste and here I have goat cheese which is deliciously mixed up with the turkey ham. So I put it all there as well and of course don't forget the salad, some greenery um, to have it very tasty and now I would roll it up but as you can see I'm unable to so we decided to have another wrap of course Pauline is hungry as well <laughs> and this one is able to be rolling and finally you can wrap the wrap and be able to serve it doesn't it look cute And as you're hanging out in the kitchen, everybody is getting hungry, so my dad wants to have a wrap for himself and we did it with some salami and some more cheese to give him a wrap as well. Don't forget to try it, it's so, so good. And my ultimate go-to snack are my protein bars. Therefore, you're going to need oat flakes in big and small, peanut butter in creamy and crunchy, some protein powder and some water. Start with one cup of your finer oat flakes and another cup of your bigger oat flakes and put them into your bowl. Next, you're going to need your peanut butter. We have crunchy and fine peanut butter because we like the consistency and the taste and we needed two or three tablespoons of each. Regarding our amount of everything, we needed three tablespoons of protein powder. We have the vanilla taste, but you can also use different tastes to have something special on your table as well. Then mix some water inside um, to really be able to mix it all up and just try to get this kind of consistency. Finish this step by taking your own hands. And then grab everything and put it inside your bowl. Now you have to push everything really, really strong inside your bowl because this makes out the great consistency in the end because you want to have tight bars in the end. This might need some time, but it's going to be worth it, I promise. Now put your protein amount inside the fridge for about one hour. Then just draw the lines where you want to cut out the bars and secondly just cut the bars. Taking out the first bar can be struggling, but the others will be easier. Then wrap everything separately and you will be prepared for the whole week and you can grab a bar whenever you need. Don't forget to try it. Mm. Okay guys, these were our five snacks for your day at school or work and we really hope you like it. Don't forget to tell us your feedback and give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And leave a comment how you liked those snacks. Don't forget to subscribe for my channel and I will see you very, very soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye.